because I don't have time to talk about it now, but I want anyone involved with the aid to stand up. Mentors in the back, uh, in the front. So if you're interested in learning more about the program, talk to these people afterward. But in the interest of time, I'm going to move forward. And uh, these two young gentlemen just pitched their idea to the investors panel at the Young Entrepreneurs Academy last week and won. And they will now represent Frisco in Rochester, New York in early May. So welcome Ian and Julian to talk about their product, Zip Eats. Never miss a basket, a home run, a pass, a touchdown, or a goal with our service, Zippy. Good evening, judges and attendees. My name is Ian Schemnebauer, and I am the CMO and COO of Zippy. And my name is Julian Sanchez, and I am the CEO and CFO of Zippy. Our business, Zippy, is a service that delivers stadium concessions to fans at local sporting events that don't want to get up out of their seat to get concessions and miss the game. So the fans use our convenient service to fix that. Zip Eats is effectively like a studio movie girl or Uber Eats for stadium concessions. Zip Eats is in the sports food industry and our legal structure is an LLC. Our mobile app is the cornerstone of our business. This is how it works. First, you download the Zip Eats app. Then you input your order of concessions and your seat number at the stadium. Just sit tight and enjoy the game and the stadium concessions will be brought right to you. You pay with cash or credit card, and the transaction is done. It's as easy as that. Just like soccer players, Zip Eats is goal-oriented. Our short-term goals include launching the business and our mobile app in the summer of 2018. By January 2019, we will be doing business in two local sports venues in Dallas, Texas. Our long-term goals include establishing a market share and improving the fan experience at sporting events worldwide. The competition for Zip Eats is very limited. Our competitors include small mobile concession vendors and normal concession stands. Another competitor is a similar service called Fan Food. Our advantages over the competition is the convenience we provide and the simplicity of our service. Zip Eats targets fans in venues around the Dallas, Texas area. Our potential customer can range from 1,000 to 100,000 fans per event. Our target market is enthusiastic fans who are hungry, thirsty, impatient, and are willing to spend money. To market our service, we will distribute flyers and brochures and use geofencing and push notifications to advertise on technology and mobile devices. We will also run advertisements on stadium screens and jumbo drones. And now to the financials. One unit is equal to one order of concessions from the Zip Eats app. Our profit on the order comes from a 20% service charge on the order subtotal. We expect concession orders to start in June once the mobile app is finished. We will start at 100 concession orders, stay consistent throughout the summer months, and then have large growth in August due to the start of football season. We are a service business and we have no supply costs, and per month we will have $200 in monthly operating costs, which will cover paying employees and our app and web hosting. Per month, we project to make $862 in profit. Per year, we project $10,350 in profit. Thank you so much for your time and consideration of our business, Zippies. Great job. Wish you the best of luck going forward and all your other uh, presentations. So let's open up for a question. We're going to make this a shorter period of questions, but uh, uh, who wants to be first? Make sure you guys use the microphone to go across the top. Great presentation. Um, it's a great idea. And then also, I see that you said employees. So you will have actual staff at these venues, or will y'all work with the concession and they'll kind of like wear a DoorDash shirt whenever they're delivering to, uh, so will you actually have employees, or how will you work with that? No, ma'am. So our service works like this. So at the stadium, we have, so the let's say a fan places an order. Our runners <coughs> that are employees of our company 
then retrieve the order from the concession stand and deliver it to the fans. Okay. So oh, right. we don't have a direct association with the concession stand. They okay. just provide us the food okay. and we deliver it to the fans. So we're okay. like a middle fan. Question. And my second question is you said that um, you'll also be cash based. So my concern with that is um, do you worry about when you're delivering to somebody in their seat and they give you a hundred dollar bill. Like now are your staff gonna have to have cash on them for change or now they're gonna have to run back to the concession stand? Kind of how does the cash part of it work? I can kind of see the credit card happening on the app. Yes, um, our main preference would be to use credit card for payment, but like cash, we can also have change on the employees. Good question. So uh, you'll have employees on site to do delivery. That means everybody will have to have tickets to get in the venue. So that's an added cost, I guess, right? You can work with these venues to be able to get a discount or get in free, or how's, what's your proposal on that? Uh, I didn't really understand. Okay, so you're gonna have workers yeah. uh, that are gonna be delivering. They're, to get into the stadium, they're going to have, have a ticket to get in. Or how are they? How are you planning on having to get in? Is there any expense included for that? Since, um. Since they're working at the stadium, they're not spectating the game, and so they're not fans and stuff, so they wouldn't have to, since they're employed there, that they have like a pass to get in. Okay, perfect. First of all, I'm super impressed. I don't know what I was doing in middle school, but I certainly was <laughs> starting a business, and you all, I'm obviously, as being the head of this chapter, I see tons of presentations, and you are definitely among the most polished presenters we've ever had. You didn't seem nervous at all. You were very clear and articulate in your presentation. I'm super proud of you and happy to help you in any way that I can. And my question for you is, will the venues receive a percentage of the food sales? So because uh, they are the ones selling the food and we're just the middlemen delivering the food, they will be getting the food from the order. We just get a 20% service charge on the order something. So the service charge on the order is our profit. So they pay at the normal price of the concession menu, and then there's a service charge of 20% on top of the order, and that's our profit. And so just so that I understand, and this is truly an education for me, if there's a, what's the name of any hamburger place or something inside the venue? Chick-fil-A, somebody who's inside the venue, is the partnership with the venue itself or is the partnership with the food vendor? For example, are you partnering with the Cowboy Stadium or are you partnering with someone who sells hot dogs in the Cowboy Stadium? Or partnering with the vendor. I see, okay. Yeah. Hey, soon to be Mark Zuckerberg's congratulations. <laughs> That's very compelling. Two questions. Let's say there are like five different food vendors in stadium, and you have your in your app. What is the way that they could order a burger from vendor A and a pizza from vendor B? So, um, at first, when we start out, we are only going to be targeting a small portion of the stadium, or like one seating section. But in the future, um, if you wanted to order stuff from different concession stands, you would input your uh, venue your seat number and your concession order. So that would, our app would identify like the question or the concession stand and then it would bring the food from the correct stand. I see. Second question. Let's say you have in one stadium or a specific day you have 100 orders or a different day you have maybe 1,000 orders. Did you think through how many employees of yours would you have to have there in any kind of projection so that the whole purpose of this in terms of the impatient, hungry fans will be satisfied without having to wait for the extra time. Yeah, so currently we're only going to have five employees per small section where we're starting and that would be including us. So yeah, thank you for your question. My favorite demographic is middle school kids who are focused, so thank you for being here. Um, my question to you is, have you looked into um, online processors such as Venmo or PayPal to minimize the risk to your, um, this is kind of like the other question about cash, um, to minimize <coughs> the risk of 
your employee showing up and then the person saying, oh, I don't have enough money or arguing with you about the 20%. And, um, and then I guess the other question would be, have you looked into finding out who the vendors are and um, getting the menu so that you don't get ripped off when you're doing this? So there are um, a few kinks in our service and that's because we haven't directly tried it in a stadium yet. We're still in the development stage of our business and app. So when we get that finished, um, then we'd be able to try it and work out those problems. All right, you guys did a fantastic job. Thank you. So you should be very proud. Um, really excited you're here this morning. Um, my question to you like, kind of regards a possible kink in the plan, um, and that is because the concession areas tend to be very packed, especially during halftime or anything like that, how um, have you thought about how your your delivery guys and gals will get to the front of the line to get to the food? Uh, thank you for your question. Again, we haven't directly tried it at the stadium, but we would um, have a sort of express lane where concessions, because we're partnered with the vendors, there would be a specific area where we pick up food for our service and we wouldn't have to wait in line. We just straight deliver it to the fans. Okay, gentlemen, great, great uh, presentation again. Um, very poised, perfect answers. Appreciate you being here. What can we do for you? Our so last question we like is, you're here and you need a great presentation, so we'd like to help you out. Well, um, we really need help with app development. Um, we, we need to find a low cost app developer, if anyone can do that. <laughs> um, and also fundraising, that would be another big one. So thank you so much for having us present. Yeah.